MasterCard has a new partnership with Google called Google Wallet, and here to show us about it is Chris McWilton. Chris, can you show us how this works? Absolutely. It's very similar to a physical wallet, a leather wallet or a purse you might carry at home. And uh, within a digital uh, folder, basically, on this, uh, this smartphone, you're enabled to put your credit or debit card information. And it's secure. It's encrypted. And uh, at various merchants uh, around uh, the country, you will be able to go up and instead of handing over your debit card to be swiped magnetically, using uh, our PayPass technology, simple, simply swipe the card to finish the transaction. So. so is it just one card that you can store on there, or is it anything in your wallet that you can put in your phone? Eventually, you'll be able to put anything in your wallet onto the phone. Initially, it will be a Citibank MasterCard prepaid card. You'll be able to also provision a new Citibank credit card onto the card. But over a period of time, the wallet will open, and it'll be an open platform, so you can put any network or any card uh, onto the wallet. We, we believe in the, in the openness of the system. Now, how does security work? Because that's something that a lot of people are concerned about. You know, if you lose your phone, if someone steals your phone, are, are you vulnerable to, uh, to getting your, uh, your finances stolen? Uh, there's a number of security layers into, uh, into the experience from a consumer standpoint. First is, most phones come today with a, with a natural lock on them, so you can lock the phone so that nobody can use it for making a phone call. Uh, the second is that when you uh, activate or to activate the wallet in the phone, you have to press a separate personal identification number to activate the wallet. The third is that the uh, personal information and the credit card or debit card numbers and data that's in the phone is in, in a secure encrypted chip within the phone. And so it can't be accessed uh, by, uh, by parties other than uh, through your authorization at, at the uh, entering the, the, the passcode. And the third is just like a physical piece of plastic, if you do lose the phone, you can call up your bank and say, I lost my phone, I lost the credit card information inside of it, can you decommission the, the card number so it can't be used for unauthorized purposes? So there's actually four layers of security protection. So where and when will this be available? Uh, it's being rolled out in two cities to start with, New York, uh, where we are today, and San Francisco as well. Um, one of the things that's essential to uh, uh, getting this out on a scale basis is to make sure these terminals uh, are at merchants or, or around the country. And uh, they already exist today, PayPass terminals in merchants like McDonald's and CVS. But rolling out in those two big cities will be uh, companies like Macy's, Subway, uh, American Eagle, and others. So that's, that'll be where you'll be able to uh, find these PayPass terminals in those two cities and begin to experience uh, the wallet. We tried to purchase something with the actual device that was here in uh, Dixon's, but we weren't able to do so. We had to use a separate device uh, that MasterCard had provided, but they ensure us that once the system is up and working, uh, up and running in the summer, uh, everything will go off without a hitch.